Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how I do this no makeup makeup look using my favorite affordable products. This is perfect for summers, I'm not going to use any foundation or concealer. So yeah, let's get started. First I'm going to use a primer, this is the Silk Blur Primer from Prosh. Now in my opinion this is a primerizer, it moisturizes and primes your skin. Also make sure that you're using a sunscreen before this. This primer makes your skin super smooth and it also hydrates your skin. I have not done a video like this in days. I was focusing more on YouTube shots and I got to know that I really enjoy filming them but I like filming these type of videos as well so I'm going to start uploading long format content at least once a week. After primer I will be using the skin tint from Just Herbs. This will even out my skin tone. It's very easy to use. You can apply it as a moisturizer using your fingers. Also this almost has no coverage. It just tints your skin like the name says. It's very lightweight. You're not going to feel anything on your skin. Then I'm going to use the powder foundation from L'Oreal. I am crazy about this product, it's the perfect all-in-one product to have in your makeup kit. It covers imperfections like dark circles and pigmentation and it's a powder so it's going to stay on your skin for longer without creasing. Now placing the powder around my inner corner instantly makes me look more awake and fresh. My shade in this is golden beige, the only problem is the shades. They should have launched more shades for warm toned people. Most of the shades that they have are either too pink or orange. This is the only shade that has a decent undertone for me. But I like using this powder for all types of makeup looks, natural or full coverage. I always use it with the small brush from Cuffs and Lashes. It turns a little patchy with sponge or the applicator provided with the product. Next I'm using this micro brow pencil from Nykaa. I have exhausted this product at this point like when I'm recording this voiceover. I go through micro brow pencils like crazy, I finish them so quickly. These are better than those 3D eyebrow definers, the ones with a thick wand. This gives a more natural finish in my opinion. It's also easy to make hair like strokes with this. For brow gel, I'm using the Essence Eyebrow Gel, one of my favorite brow gels. Again, it has a very natural finish and does hold brow hair in place. You can see how it gives more structure to my brows and separates brow hair making them look more natural but full. Next I'm going to use some bronzer. This one is by Makeup Revolution. This is their super dewy bronzer. This shade gives a soft dimension to my face. It shears out a lot so the end look is very soft, little dewy and natural. Then I'm using this blush from Tipsy Beauty. I really like the color. This is a cream blush. It's a buildable blush. So you won't get a lot of pigment in one go. The pigmentation is manageable and I actually prefer these type of blushes. Then I'm going to curl my lashes. I should have curled them in the very beginning as well. But yeah, let's apply some mascara. For a look like this, I want a mascara that's volumizing and a wand that separates my lashes. This one from Maybelline is my favorite and my go-to when it comes to drugstore mascaras. Then I'm going to use a lip tint. This one is from Romand. You know these are my favorite. It smells so good. I just want to eat all of it. It's the best lip tint I have. Plus, this color looks so gorgeous on my skin tone. All the shades look amazing on my skin tone. I am going to apply a little bit on my eyes as well. And then I'm going to blend it in with a small blending brush. For the final step, I'm using a setting spray from NYX. And that's it, this is the finished look. Long lasting, no touch ups required because there is very little product on your skin. Hope you guys liked the video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.